Let's make some procedural rocks. To start with, we need to create some base shape for our rock. To do this, we can to create some random points and I'm going to create a tube with some different scaling. So every copy will have a different scale. To do this, I'm going to link a reference below. Then I would apply some jitter to get some more variation. Then I would loop over each different piece. Then I would apply some boolean to it. Like you could see here, we booleaned out some parts of the shape to make it a bit more interesting. Then I'm going to use a bevel with a profile, then remeshing this part so it's not perfect anymore and has some edge damage in there. Then we do this for all the pieces and this would be the result. So you could clearly see these chunky parts of the rocks. Then I would remesh it again. So it's again a bit more imperfect. After that, starting with some VDB and I'm also going to check by connectivity. So if parts are not connected to each other, we can simply delete them by the blast. Then after that, turning it back to geometry and we can now start applying some noises on top of this uh, geometry. A cool trick here is to transfer a smoother version with better normals. As you can see here on these edges, you will have better information going on. So this is how the smoother version looks like. And then I just transferred the normals with a transfer. I will also link some resources for this. Then I am applying some more noise and some lines on the shape. You could also make your own noise system by using a VOP and make your own custom menu to what you need. It can also be a good idea to test out some noises on simple shapes like a sphere so you get a good idea of what each noise is doing. Then I will be scattering around some of these rocks. To do this we can use the curvature. Based on this curvature we can place around some shapes for our rocks. And then I'm just going to copy the points based on this curvature. And I do this two times just to get more variation in the type of rocks. If you would like to optimize this for game engines, I could recommend you turning it into voxel, then doing poly reduce, then auto in the rapid, and then add some normals to it, and then bake it. This is then the result that I'm getting, and we could generate easily multiple versions of this rock.